What are you looking for in particular? Oh, here it is. Dash module. Ooh. I wanted to try the dash module. See if it was any good. There are 22 major arcana. Got it. Yeah, like I said, I don't really specialize in tarot. I'd probably remember better if I regularly played Isaac. But well, I there don't. was also I I remember first seeing them. Oh. We'll have no chance of beating that floating monstrosity unless we can choose our battleground. The only problem is the RAF has set up three floating weapons platforms to control the area. Let's take them down first. Yeah, I had seen them in a lot of anime. So Escaflone, uh, didn't Cardcaptor Sakura have their own altered versions of them? Uh. Like, I think they didn't adhere to it 100%. I think they changed some of the cards up. That's really cool. I have an aggro dodge. Okay. That's an interesting thing, aggro dodging, you're saying? Yep. So when I dodge, I like dash through enemies and it does like a buttload of damage. Isn't that less aggro dodge so much as an attack dodge? Because aggro, you're already getting everyone's aggro. Aggro means aggressive. Ah. Usually I see, I hear of aggro used as a reference to, to not taunting, but you, yeah, you gain the MMOs. attention of MMO NPCs. This well, they wouldn't so be NPCs cool. so much as just enemies. Oh, that's how those work. Oh, you can't go there. No, he hasn't spawned in yet. Got him. Hell yeah. That was really cool. The uh, the dash dodge, I don't even care what my score is. Actually, my score was good. Sharp Edge. And the time it took us for, to de uh, took for us to destroy that tank. A group of Sky Pirate mercenaries got between us and our target. Let's teach those guys to accept a contract on our heads. Back for more toots. Ah, love it when you when my money comes to me. Don't let him get a rise out of you, Ash. You've already beaten him more than once. I don't believe it. Is that you, Ratskeller? I wondered where you ran off to. I thought you were dead. I was being a treacherous coward treating you. Good? You know this guy, Cap? Huh. <sighs> Weapon's free, Ash. Kill him. <laughs> so, was he a pirate? He decided to reform and take up mercenary work, but only for good assignments, sanctioned by the government. Is that what was going on? <laughs> oh, boy. Aww. Well, I mean, it works. There seem to be quite a number of different units after you. Yep. The Sky Pirate enemy variety has improved. Oh, what? Mm -hmm. Oh, and there are tanks below. With the tanks and the planes remind me of one of the first video games I'd ever played in my life. Actually, probably the first video game I ever played in my life was Target Fun on the Atari. And 
the game itself was pretty simple. You had a couple of different maps that you could switch between and a couple of different player types, if you will. There was one mode where you were a stationary tank. Well, not a tank so much as just a missile launcher. But there was another where you were a plane. There was another where you were a boat. And you could also have a mixture of plane versus boat. And uh, do you know what I'm getting at? Yeah. And there were some where you could control how fast you're moving laterally across the screen. And you could speed up and slow down. And you could also adjust your rate of fire. But the interesting thing was, because there was constant motion, you had to always guess where your shots were going to go because the shots always traveled at a diagonal. Mm -hmm. Now that I think about it, it was a little gruesome. I think one of the levels had you shooting rabbits. I forget if it was from a plane or if the tanks would shoot at birds or I don't know. I, I think for the most part it was vehicles that you were firing upon. But I just remember that versus mode became silly. I know you're in a hurry to go after the Corps, but you said you wanted to help you, Glenn. Well, there's a small town in the area that's been cut off from supplies since the government pulled back. I said them under the pirates have them under siege, taking advantage of their isolation. Let's liberate them, huh? Stop enemy bombers. So it was funny in the versus mode, because especially if you had one person who was a boat and one person who was a plane, you were flying in opposite directions. And because we could speed ourselves up and down, what we would find ourselves doing, oh, that's a, that's a bomb you have to obliterate before it yep. reaches the surface. Yeah, I don't have my homing missile. Uh-oh. But we just found ourselves going at top speed and firing at random, <laughs> trying to hit one another. You know what I mean? And if you timed it just right, you could be going at top speed and having your blasts go continuously and never hit one another. It was funny. One of the most interesting games on the Atari was Missile Command. Supposedly the guy who crafted the game said he wanted to show the fruitlessness of war because the point of the game is you're supposed to defend a couple of cities and you have to fire missiles to intercept all of these falling bombs. But the bombs don't fall normally. It's almost like a lightning strike pattern. Just branching paths with lines trailing behind them. And so you're trying to hit the point at the ends of these lines. But as time goes on, more and more of them appear. And you eventually reach the point where portions of your city, like when a city is hit, it isn't destroyed. It, it falls apart in pieces. I think, and or maybe maybe it did get completely obliterated. Maybe I'm mixing Space Invaders with the your barriers breaking away versus the cities breaking away. But usually, you'd be forced to sacrifice one city in order to save another city and consolidate all of your missiles to save one particular city. But eventually these beams of light would start coming at all sides and it would just be impossible to win, per se. So really it was just to see how far you can go. Yeah, well, I mean, that's true. Of Almost the... every game from those eras, just they didn't really have very good improve. set win yeah. conditions. It makes me wonder when the first plot-based games came out. Mm, fairly early. I think MUDs were pretty common on PC. Were those those ones where you just type in stuff and yeah. things happen? I thought I remember your 
dorm mates playing something like that. Probably was NetHack. Yeah, would it, if it prompted you with a, hey, you find a door, if you have a key that you've acquired along the way, can you do use key? Well, yeah. you'd have to type in the commands, wouldn't you? one's hard. Oh, a bomb was dropped. Where? To the right? Oh no, it's gonna hit the ground! No! no I got it. Oh, you did get it? Barely. Oh, man. And you only have that one heart left. Yeah, it's this asshole. Another bomb dropped. It's going very swiftly. It's actually just because I'm really close to it. Yeah. But yeah, there was just a dude that was sitting on my butt. But I was too busy chasing bombs to really... These bombers are faster than me and that feels wrong. <laughs> well, I did okay. But yeah, I was trying to use proximity mines, which do more damage, but... They just, they're only situationally useful. Mm -hmm. So, guided missiles. Hey, thank you, Hedge Ninja, for the 11 month reset. Huh, just hopped in uh, and saw this. I haven't heard of this game. Makes me feel like I'm back in the arcade from my teen years. Yeah. It's, uh, it's very arcadey, but in a very, very satisfying manner. What's the secret to scoring well in this game? Time, it seems like. Oh, what's this one? Muzzle velocity. Hmm. Well, let's see if this is a mistake. All right, there's nothing standing in the way. Not even your sense of self-preservation, apparently. Take out that massive flying combat drone before it makes its way to a populated area. Attempting secure handshake with asset Magus. Let me guess. Handshake unsuccessful. Asset compromised. Combat may be required. Honestly, why do you even try? I, should w I wish it would respond. Yeah, so I was right. The mage is flying. Oh, so does it have shielded sections? And you're supposed to fire at the cube in the middle? Which also releases uh, an array of. Oop. What do you have to? Just hovering above it? Oh, the pieces have. They've drifted apart. I am starting to see cracks. I wonder if there's a rhyme or reason for the different colors at the center. Oh. Because if you notice, it's in plus. Sometimes it has a V. I think V might be attack mode. Okay, I'm actually going to abandon this mission real quick. Why? What are you doing? You're changing your loadout? This was funny, but not great. Uh... Let's try that. I thought you could actually change your loadout from the menu as opposed to having to restart the mission. Don't think so. Can't you? Okay. No. No, all right. Oh, you have a little laser yourself? Uh, it's something I, I can equip, yeah. It's interesting how the edges of it look like caution... Uh, yeah, like the demolition caution lines.
I wonder Did if you I can destroy break it? I don't know if you can destroy those. Be lovely. Well, you definitely do damage when you hit its core, but that's to be expected. Oh, starting to take some damage. Yeah, hitting the core takes off a lot of its HP. Oh, I get made it mad. Yeah, it seems like jousting is the right way to go for fighting this boss. Jousting? <laughs> You're running against it and smashing through? Yeah. I mean, look at how fast I'm wrecking him mm -hmm. by just nose-diving straight through his face. Uh-huh. Well, because you're also... You're invincible when doing so, correct? Yep. For a short period of time. That's an insane ability. I am the chariot. Maybe. <laughs> Bonk. Well, suck it, aggro cube. Ah, people are saying a literal jet lancer. I suppose it makes sense. Yep. Because jousting. Yep. Ha! Huh, I did it. And you doubted me, Cap. Hey, that's not fair. I knew that if anyone could do it, it would be you. I just didn't know if anyone could do it. Hey, sorry to burst up the routine post-mission ego massage, but I got some data on that thing you just flat fragged. It's ancient for sure, as old as the other bots you've been dealing with. The parts it uses are ridiculously similar to the parts in your jet. Mm-hmm. So, what does that mean? If I knew that, I would have led with it, Ace. But if you get me some samples from any ships you destroy from now on, plus that giant crab thing you're hunting, I might be able to sort out this mystery. Sure, yeah. I'll do that in all the free time that I have. Don't worry, Ash. I'll handle the data gathering with Lem. You worry about taking out that robot. Oh, wow. Are we bonding right now, Cap? Shut up. You you still make my eyes itch. Ah, uh, he's allergic to cats. Yep. <laughs> Agro craft. Oh, new thing. New thing. Unguided rocket that shreds through enemy armor. Interesting. Well, considering I don't need the missiles anymore, low enemy presence. Hey, that walking behemoth's been firing munitions into local hillsides and whatnot for a while now. Thinking if I could get my hands on one of those shells, it might tell me something about what we're fighting. Only problem is those sky pirates swarming all over the countryside, looking for stuff that is salvage. What say you rush in and keep them busy while I scoop up some samples and get out? Keep low enemy presence. Well, that's easy enough. That vessel looks new, though. Mm -hmm. Dunes are fun. It doesn't seem like you have a time load or anything. It's just a matter of destroying everything. The enemy presence critical. Too many enemies. Yeah, you need to keep them low. There's so many of them spawning constantly. I wonder what that tower is in the distance. If it has a lot of solar panels, that would make sense. Enemy presence is critical. Just look at them all.
Like, if they were spawning on the screen and swarming me, I'd be super fine. Okay, loadout. Uh, I think you weren't charging at them. You were kind of hovering in I the was, middle, waiting for them to come to I you. I was trying to charge at them, but the problem is, like, I'd find one enemy, fight it, and then move on to the next, which... I One of the problems I do run into with the, um, the indicators where enemies are, there's no indication for how really far away they are. Because, like, if you notice, I just have a bunch of flashing icons. Oh, do you know what's up with these? A lot of these are stagnant guns. You yeah. actually have to pursue them. Yeah. Yeah, there's a gun. I did yeah, there's three the... of them right below you. Yep. Up oh, there's laser. Come to the right. that one apart. There's a lot to the right. Yeah, those two. That's good. Okay, there we go. Haven't seen any warnings about critical numbers yet. That's because they're actually hanging out with me now. Mm -hmm. We're going to get a critical number very soon. Uh, in up second, there. Though. Yeah. And then even presence critical. Yeah, well, you, these ones are right above you. Yeah. I think we got it. You just got it? Yep. Oof. Some of these missions are a bit on the rough side. Here Sentinels. We're in striking distance, the walking armory, but there's a group. You guessed it's a group of you guessed it sky pirates in the way. The one's flying in tight formation, though. The markings look a little different from the ones we've been fighting recently. Still, I, I'm sure they explode in the same way as all the rest. Oh, this is interesting. Is this the pirate queen? Uh, it might be. Yeah. Remember, team, guard the Empress with your lives. If we can't stop them here, it may already be too late. As I as I said before though, these Pirates, they are well armed. They are I numerous. I think the they pirates are... specifically um, might actually be keeping us a low tech level. Hmm? Um, As in the world, or what? Yeah. That this might be like a very intentional thing. But who's providing them with all this gear? Wouldn't be ages, he just woke up. Well, no, like they might be working to keep Aegis from um mm. reawakening. Ah. Then why are they defending it? Like the no, Oh they're no, they're they're defending, they're, de they're defending Aegis because they want to wait, no, I thought they're they were defending defend Empress. They're defending Empress, they're defending Because the they're trying to take out yeah. Aegis. But Aegis doesn't sound good either. 
because he's willing to exactly have that's all of why they're trying to to destroy the machines well they're def defending empress so that empress can go, de go destroy aegis mm -hmm. yeah i think the pirates actually know a bit more about what's going on the pirate queen at least seemed to There we go. Fall back, team. We're not even making a dent. Jin. What was that, Captain? What? Nothing. I just need a drink. This game is really fun, though. Like, mm -hmm. I'm so glad they have those accessibility options. Being able to just, uh... Increase my dodge rating a little bit makes me feel like such a badass without actually having to kill myself for it. Looks like that group of mercenaries has caught up with us again. Luckily, it's just a scouting party this time. We can wipe them out before they can get a signal back to the main force. But we'll be safe for a while. Move fast. Strictly casual difficulty gamer these days. In my heyday, maybe. But programming didn't exist back then. Yeah. I. I can play hard games here and there. I just don't enjoy it. Eh. I play games for story. And if it's a game where strategy is involved, I I do find that hard strategy games are fine. Particularly card games and such. I don't mind them being difficult. Because I know that I have some measure control of being able to acquire new cards and adjust my strategies to face certain decks and such. But those don't feel unbeatable. I find that in games like these, sometimes just someone's eye-hand coordination, manual dexterity, and practice can influence whether or not you're able to finish a game. But... So, I'm fine in, in strategy games being challenged. But for games where it's action, adventure, and story, it, it's fine if... Maybe you face a boss once or twice and you learn what techniques and what items you need to defeat them and such. You don't want to have to face the same thing again and again and again and again just to progress to the next plot point. But I find it, it depends on what game you're playing. And obviously, in multiplayer versus games, the difficulty is up to the other opponents that you're playing with. Sorry, mildly focused. No, that's understandable. What are your thoughts about the, in what types of games do you prefer to have a level of challenge versus not? There we go. There's also the issue of, is a difficulty spike going to occur in such a way that the rest of the game gives you, uh, hasn't trained you for it? Have you ever experienced those games where there's just one boss or one instance that is very difficult in comparison to the gradual yeah. incline that you've oh, had the rest of the game. Yeah, hell yeah. Indivisible. Fi yeah. Final bosses, I find, suffer from this the most. Or it's weird. Remnant from the Ashes had that initially, too, unless that was just because of a bug for the uh, multiplayer. In Remnant's case, it was just bad design. Uh-huh. Yeah, there, there are instances where we face final bosses and wonder, wait, what? What happened to the difficulty curve? <laughs> yeah, chat saying it's ironic that this is a small scouting party. It seems just as sizable as other things that we faced before, definitely. Okay, there he goes. Land-based enemies are really tough. Yeah. I feel bad for the games that we've quit on nearly the final boss, but it's one of those things where 
it's presenting you with the, do you want to finish it now or spend the next half of your playtime preparing for this singular boss? Ugh. Yeah, we've only we've only ever got edged out by a couple of games for difficulty. 